just have them on there long enough to get the canvas basically stretched and then take them off. Anyway, on a traditional stretcher frame, you don't lock these corners together, you leave them pushed together and loose, and you probably wonder why, and I'll show you. You may have noticed, and you probably did notice, and wonder what these little slots are. These are called key slots. And in these traditional stretcher frames, the idea behind a key slot is that if your canvas ever became slack on this frame, and it can happen over the years, the idea is you should be able to put these keys into these slots and then tap them and this corner, remember, which is not fastened, will expand. That crack will open up. Watch and you'll see it happen. See it opening up there? Now the idea is that if you had a, a loose canvas and you did this on one or more corners, this would tighten your canvas back up. But if the truth be known, this is a very poor way to do things, to say the least. The problem with this method of trying to tighten up a canvas is the minute you expand one of these joints like this, your entire frame is out of square to start with. It's getting bigger. If you were to do that to all four of these corners, your frame would be bigger and it might not go back into the decorative frame. On top of that, you're stressing the canvas, especially in the corners, and you could stretch it so far as, as to rip it. And then a further problem is it's very easy to damage your painting if you're doing a thing like this. I think I can show you better on a finished painting. Let me grab one here. Here is a painting of my daughter Mary. It's a finished painting. If, I were to, if this canvas ever went slack on me and I were to try to tighten it up by this key method, here's what happens. I put my keys in there. Then I get my hammer. And you see the danger here? If I were to start swinging on this, I'd probably hit the canvas. If I hit the canvas, I'll dent it or I'll rip it or I'll damage it in some way that'll be very hard or impossible to fix. So if I were really going to do this, I would put something under here, a piece of cardboard, and I'd put it in under here, maybe even a piece of thin plywood would be even better. So that if I were swinging on this and I slipped, I'd hit the cardboard and not the canvas. And of course, if I was really going to do this, I'd loosen, take these staples out and have everything loose so that this corner could expand. But let me say that this whole key and key slot idea, this method of trying to tighten canvases this way is just one of those bad old ideas that just won't go away. It's traditional, but it's just such a poor idea I would never do it if I were you. It just sets up too many problems. Another bad old idea, if you should get a wrinkle in your finished canvas, is to try to squirt it with water and make it shrink. A lot of people do that. And there you're setting yourself up with a whole new series of problems. It might work to some extent on a cotton canvas that hasn't been painted on. Cotton will tighten up very quickly and easily with water on it. However, it'll also probably tighten up unevenly. If that happens and then you try to stretch it the right way by taking it off and restretching it, you will be unable to restretch it properly. In many cases, this shrinking of canvas with water is only temporary anyway and when another spate of high humidity comes around, the canvas will loosen right back up. About the worst thing that you can do to a finished painting like this is to spray water on the back of it, trying to tighten it up, because when it shrinks back here, you'll be putting tremendous pressure on the layer of oil paint in the front, which will cause it to eventually crack. About the only time I would ever put water on a canvas is if I had a, a dent Sometimes if you put a little bit of warm water on the end of a rag and touch it to the dent and then let it dry, the dent may come out. How about we agree that both of these Mickey Mouse old methods, keys and key slots and water shrinkage are just bad ideas that are best forgotten. If your canvas should loosen up on the frame, the best thing you can do is to remove all of the fasteners, as I showed you how to do earlier, loosen the whole thing, 
Get your canvas pliers and re-stretch it. And the reason people don't do that is because they don't know how to do that or they don't have the tools or they're just lazy. And that's the proper way to tighten up loose canvas. Now why would canvas get loose anyway? Well, we're dealing here with canvas and with wood and they're both natural porous materials and they respond to changes in humidity and temperature over the years and so things can loosen up. Now these stretcher bars are oven dried and ideally they should contain about 20 percent moisture and that keeps them stable under most conditions. But wood is wood, it's porous and it's organic. So under humid conditions or dry conditions wood will seek equilibrium with its surroundings and it will slightly swell or slightly shrink and the canvas may not do that so when the stretcher bars shrink a little the canvas will go slack and develop wrinkles some people will varnish their stretcher frames trying to seal the moisture in or out but i found that it only slows it down a little bit most people leave the stretcher frames raw wood and i do too the whole secret to avoid wrinkling canvas is to stretch it properly to begin with. Let me show you with this rubber band. Now this is exaggerated of course, but if this is your canvas and you stretch it properly tight, even if the frame shrinks some, it's still going to be tight. It's the canvases that weren't stretched tight enough to begin with that will go slack and wrinkle when the frame shrinks. Now you're probably about as tired of hearing about stretcher frames as I am of talking about them and I think we've covered the subject pretty thoroughly anyway. So let's move on to the next section where we actually put some canvas on this frame. Alright, so let's put some canvas on this frame now. This is the 16 by 20 stretcher frame that we made a while ago out of medium duty thickness stretcher bars. It's been banged together with the rubber hammer very tightly. Any sharp corners on the canvas stretched side have been filed off. And of course we want to do that last important check before we do anything. And that is to see whether this dimension corner to corner is exactly the same as this measurement corner to corner and it is so we're good to go all right so now let's get the canvas 